Mazen Shemus's nine-year-old son was killed by a mortar as Islamic State advanced across northern Iraq in 2014. That night, the family buried him and fled Karakush, a Christian enclave near Mosul, along with thousands of others. Five years later, the farmer is back on his land, replanting trees and coaxing it back to life. His community is growing back too, encouraged by an active local clergy, which helped Shemus and others rebuild. When we came back, we filed an application at the church. We went to Father George's and they finished our house. Pope Francis will visit Karakush on Sunday as part of a four-day tour of Iraq, the first ever by a pope. About half the town's Christians have returned, a rare ray of hope for a community devastated by years of Islamist violence. That's down to church leaders, who hatched a plan to encourage families back to the town of 50,000 people by rebuilding houses first, then churches. Funds came mainly from Christian organizations abroad. Father George Jehola was put in charge. We have this piece of land. We have inherited this small patch of land from our ancestors. If we lose it, we lose our identity. Karakush boasts the Grand Immaculate Church, Iraq's biggest, restored now after it was damaged and burned. Pope Francis's visit is a source of pride for a community that remains vulnerable. And morale was high for the volunteers who danced and sang as they cleaned and decorated it in preparation.